Hi everyone, Nikki here. This is the last video I'm going to make. It's on short circuits. Okay, a uh, short circuit test. Basically, all we're doing is testing for continuity between actives and neutrals. Seems pretty simple, and it kind of it kind of is. It's not as hard as what you think it is. Um, you're looking for an OL on your reading, just like so. If you can see that, okay. All right. If you get a reading, that means that um, you've got some interconnection there. Now you'd expect to see a reading on your resistive circuits between A and M, okay? They're connected. You have elements and things like that. All right, so first things first, make sure all your CBs are off and turn your switches. You can toggle them on and off, okay? It's going to um, help you with the test. Um, now, if you have an RCD, you can test straight from active to neutral on the load side of your RCD. But if you don't, like my sub main here and my three phase switch, You'll have to test from the actual neutral bar to the load side active, okay? So I'm going to go here. I'll put my beeper on. Okay, we don't want to hear any beeping. No beeping here. None there. None there. None there. None there. Test my tester. It's working. All right, so I don't have an RCD here. I don't have a switch neutral. So I'm going to check each active with the neutral. Again, down here. All right, so I've got a reading on this one, and that's actually my oven, okay? It's a resistive circuit, so I'd expect to get a reading, and I'm expecting to get a resistive uh, value of V squared um, divided by P, okay? My power. So voltage over power. Voltage squared divided by power, okay? Sub main, nothing, okay? And then my, my hot water system, I've got nothing there at the moment. I'll turn this on. Okay, and I have a reading now of 16.3, which is pretty average for water. Okay, and I can also check the hot water here too. Turn that off. Got nothing when it's turned off. Okay, so it's a good way of checking, uh, making sure that you know you're turning off and off, and you have got the right circuit for what you're doing. And um, that's the values that you'd sort of expect to get. Okay, so that's short circuit testing. Um, it always pays to do uh, short circuit when you do polarity uh, on your consumer mains uh, first up in that section. Okay, it's it's a really it just pays to do that for your polarity. So you already know that your incoming supply and neutral um, are not sh short circuited even before you start. Um, okay, and and that's kind of it. Um, you can remove elements and things like that and remove terminals off your hot water um, if you need to just be absolutely sure that you don't have a circuit, um, a short circuit in those cables, okay, um, before your actual terminals and device. Okay, well, that's the last video for me. Good luck, and um, I really hope this video actually helps. So, yeah, cheers. Take it, take it easy. Bye.